to take you to the book of Enoch just to share with you what was going on prior to Noah's or prior to the flood the antediluvian destruction there during the time of Noah what was he preaching against now some people might argue and they say well Steve you know Enoch is not a canonized part of the Bible and I can agree with that I know that it's not in our traditional canon but it is uh, a book that was part of the Ethiopic uh, gospel, uh, or excuse me, Ethiopic Bible. It is also was found in Qumran. Many, many fragments have been found of the Book of Enoch, of several different books, and it was part of the biblical canon that was accepted by the uh, Qumran community there in Israel today. And not only that, there was also a complete book of Enoch that was uh, discovered at Qumran. It was stolen. Uh, the Bedouins sold it to a Kuwaiti man, but one of the scholars that did get to go to Kuwait and examine it said that the, for, that the actual full book of Enoch was very much like that of the Ethiopic version that we have today. So I feel like that if the Israelite uh, Jewish people of this era back 2,000 years ago at Qumran carried the book of Enoch that we can take and use it as a reference tool at least at that at that very least we could do that so I wanted to share with you from chapter 7 verses 1 through 5 from the book of Enoch uh, volume 1 here just so you can get a glimpse of what Enoch wrote about how it was in the days of Noah. And they took wives for themselves, and every one chose for himself one each. And they began to go into them and were promiscuous with them. And they taught them charms and spells, and they showed them the cutting of roots and of trees. And they became pregnant and bore large giants, and their height was 3,000 cubits. These devoured all the toil of men until men were unable to sustain them. And the giants turned against them in order to devour men. And they began to sin against birds, against animals, against reptiles, against fish. They devoured one another's flesh and drank the blood from it. So I would take that what we're seeing here when... Jesus himself said, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. Now this is only setting the stage, and I'm, you know, it may seem a little awkward at first. Aliens, Nephilim, fallen angels, I believe that they're all connected. And this is why I'm bringing it out the way I am. Because Jesus says, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the, in, in, in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. And then he goes back and he repeats the things that were happening during that time. All right. Now, if we, as we notice, they take to themselves the women. They marry the women. These Nephilim did. Now, there's also, by the way, there's another uh, document. And I just have to call it a document. It's definitely not a biblical document, but there is an angel ancient document. I don't recall where it's at. I just recall reading the document that spoke also about how that these fallen angels tried to come to these, uh, to the, to the daughters uh, of, of, you know, Cain, excuse me, um, Cain's daughters and, and was trying to get them to, to marry them, but they would not. But they actually, what they did, they did a second attempt, according to this document, and they changed themselves to appear like their husbands. That's when they fell for it. Now, that could be so. I, I don't say that it's, that it's accurate. I can't attest to this for sure. But I find it interesting in light of the fact that they speak about, uh, in some circles, of a reptilian alien race. But when I say alien race, you have to understand, I believe that it's not so much of uh, Martians, but the fact that it's actually demons, fallen angels. Remember, 200 of these angels come down here to earth, but there was a lot more that were kicked out of heaven according to the Bible. We know that the 200 that came down and cohabitated with the, with the uh, women on the earth, they were bound in chains. And in fact, I did a message on our uh, Israeli News Live on our YouTube channel, and I spoke about that I believe that they were actually in prison in Antarctica.